So we've been down to the Penarth beach looking for driftwood and interesting pebbles and interesting finds. As well as all the natural finds on the beach, I really am very interested in finding man-made pieces that have been eroded by the sea. The sea has worked its magic, it's played around with it and it's there for me to find. So that's the most exciting things, the man-made things. But saying that, I have found just normal round little pebbles that have got nice flat bottoms that can be set into silver or just bits of driftwood that have got interesting shapes and interesting textures to them. Quite often I will find these objects and then take them home without any thought about what I want to do with them. I've got loads of pieces that have just sat in my workshop for a couple of years thinking that they weren't important. I occasionally take them out and look at them and then think, Ah, I know what's going to happen with this. And that couldn't happen unless I'd collected loads of pieces. My camera is my sketchbook. I can move things very, very quickly and I can take a picture and then I can go back and look at it. I could sketch things vaguely, but I don't think it has the same feel to it. You can immediately see from a photograph how that works and it means that you can move elements around and you can change your mind completely. My jewellery is predominantly silver. I use a particular technique which is called reticulation. Reticulation is a heat process where you heat up the surface of the metal with a blowtorch. As you're heating it, the surface will begin to melt and you can move the molten silver around with your gas torch. Then when you take the flame away, you get these ripples and crevices and all this lovely texture. I wanted to challenge myself and think very carefully about these pieces and I wanted to make jewellery out of them but I didn't want them just to be bits of driftwood. That thought process and discovery of how to make these pieces work with silver or other objects and still look and feel as precious there's definitely a process of harvesting them and letting them do their own thing, letting them become their own object in a static environment, not in a natural environment against the wind and the rain and the sea. So when they become themselves within this environment, that's when I can start working with them. Part of being a designer, I think, is probably allowing yourself to move with the pieces. I'm not really a perfectionist. I'm quite happy to change things. I think that's what designers do, really. They're quite interested in how to work and how to push the next piece on and how it all works. All my pieces have to work well and have to wear well, which kind of limits me in a lot of the driftwood or the, the found objects that I work, especially the stones, because if they're too heavy, then they can't be worn. But the body is always my consideration and how it works, how it works on the neckline, how it works on the wrist. And working with the coast pieces, you can't bend a piece of wood to fit around your wrist or to fit over your neckline. So it's a lot more challenging to think about how it works with the body. And it's much more time consuming because of that. It's natural and it's nature, nature at its best. And that I'm trying to use those natural pieces and combine them with precious objects like pearls in the hope that people will wear them in that way and that they'll wear them in the same way as that they would wear a diamond brooch.